In this video I'll show you how to connect your Canon PIXMA 4720 to your iPhone to print pictures from it but also how to scan documents. So on the first step go on your printer and then click on the plier and screwdriver button, this one. Now you're in setup mode. You can now press the OK button. Then on the next menu you need to click on the right side arrow once until you see manual connect and then press the OK button again. Now it will search for a wireless router, that's your Wi-Fi network and you'll need to select the same network as your iPhone. So you need to connect both of these devices on the same Wi-Fi. You can click on those arrows to find your network and once you're on it press OK. Then you'll need to press OK again and enter the password of that Wi-Fi network. You can use that touchpad with letters to switch between capital letters and small letters and numbers. Press this tone button and it will switch. After you type the password, you're going to press OK and it will connect. It will take a few seconds. Once it's connected, it will say connected, press OK, and again, press OK. And you're done. Take your iPhone and go on the App Store and download the Canon Print Inkjet Selfie app. Just like this one. Once it's installed, you can go ahead and open it. This page, just press Agree. Then you can press Ask App to Not Track if you don't want to be tracked. It will search for the printer and usually it will find it in a few seconds. You just have to wait. You may have this message asking you to connect to your network, press OK. And then it will add finally your printer to the app. So both will be connected together. Next step is to load some paper in your Canon printer. If you're printing pictures, you better use glossy paper. If not, just normal plain paper will do the job. You just need to make sure that those blue tabs here are extended to the max and you just have to push the paper. You'll hear a small beep and this will mean that it's loaded. Next step is to lower this small flap over here. This is where the pictures will get printed. From the main screen of the app, you can choose to print documents from your iPhone, if you have any. Here I don't have any, but uh, usually they will appear here. You can also browse in folders if you have put it there. Or you can print pictures. This is what we'll do right now. So tap on this, tap smartphone, and here you'll have all the pictures that are stored on your phone that you took with your phone. To select one, just tap on it. You'll have a check mark and then press the add button on the top right corner. From this screen, press next, and then you'll have displayed over here the paper size and what kind of paper uh, it will be used to print. If it's the correct size you want to print, 4 by 6 you don't want a full page, and if your paper is glossy, then press yes. If not, press no, and you'll be able to change those settings by pressing on print settings. And here you can change how many copies, what kind of paper size do you have. You see uh, over here, sorry, it's a bit out of focus, but you can see that you can choose between glossy or plain paper and other settings. Once you exit, it will just confirm with you that these are the settings you want. If this is right, you're going to press yes. It brings you to this screen. You just have to go back to the app. And then when you're ready, you're going to press print over there. Depending how big is your picture, depending what kind of paper you're using, it can take a few seconds to even a minute or two to print a, a picture. Here I just selected a 4x6, it's a small picture and you'll see it's uh, gonna get printed quite quickly. The colors are not the best if you're using plain paper, as you can see here. It looks faded. I'll just show you in a few seconds how it looks on a glossy paper, just so you can feel the difference. You see, this is what went out. It, it just feels that there's a lack of contrast. I don't know if it's my printer 
or um, the paper I'm using but yeah let me just show you with glossy paper how it looks so let me load the glossy paper always use it facing down with the gloss part facing down never up like this push it I have changed the settings so it's a full page that will get printed and it's also glossy paper I'll go ahead and press print and this will take a lot more time than the other one so I'll speed up the video So this is how it looks, you can already see the colors are a lot more vibrant and uh, everything looks sharper than uh, when it's printed on plain paper. You can just compare it and really there's no comparison really. So if you want glossy paper, I've put links in the description if you want to get some from Amazon and uh, yeah, they do the job quite well. Now let me show you how to use the scan function. In the app you just have to press on scan here there will be some settings already put there if you want to change them you're gonna select change settings on the top and here you can change between if you want it to be in color or in black and white the size and what kind of document are you scanning or is it a picture once you're ready put a document facing down on the scanner like this make sure that you push this corner to the max over there close the lid over it and press the scan button on the bottom of the screen you may get this message just press ok if it's the first time you're scanning and it will start so it didn't took too long this is the page of the document i just inserted it's in black and white because this is how i decided and uh, let's say if you have a document with multiple pages you can simply um, remove this page that you just inserted okay let's say this is the page number two i have you just need to put it back there and on the app you're gonna press scan and this will scan the second page of the document this scanner also has a top feeder if you want to scan multiple pages without doing this every time i have put another video on my channel showing you how it works okay so now we have the second page who just got uh, scanned and you can press the exit button if you finished uh, scanning the document here we have it all the pages are here and uh, from here on the lower um, corner here you have this icon you can click on it and you can use it as a JPEG or a PDF, depending how you prefer. Let's say I want it in PDF. And from here you can do many things. You can share it, you can send it by email, send it on Messenger, airdrop it, uh, save it on your phone. You can do all the things you want uh, from this menu. You see, you can go down over here, you can save to file if you want to save it on your iPhone, uh, save it on Dropbox. I mean, all the possibilities are here. So this is it. This is how you use your Canon TR4720 to connect to your iPhone, to scan and also how to print. If you find this useful, please leave a thumbs up, a comment down below. Check the affiliate links on Amazon and I'll see you in the next one.